Russia might attempt a counter-offensive in the Kursk region. The aggressor aims to regain control over its territories, states Deputy CIA Director David Cohen. Cohen expects Russian President Vladimir Putin to carry out a counter-offensive in the Kursk region, but it will be a tough battle for Russia. We can be certain that Putin will mount a counter-offensive to try to reclaim that territory, Cohen said. I think our expectation is that it will be a difficult fight for the Russians. The CIA deputy director added that Ukrainian forces intend to maintain control over the Russian territory for some period of time. Putin, he said, is not only going to have to face the fact that there is a front line now within Russian territory that he's going to have to deal with, he has to deal with reverberations back in his own society that they have lost a piece of Russian territory. He also noted that the Kremlin leader will have to deal with the consequences after Russia lost control over part of the Kursk region. Cohen said that Russia has been making those gains at extraordinary cost in troops and equipment and may or may not capture the key Ukrainian logistics hub city of Pokrovsk. But at the end of the day, none of it is a game changer in a strategic sense for the Russians, he continued. Russian forces continue to lose control over territories in the Kursk region. According to the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Oleksandr Sirsky, Ukrainian defenders control 100 settlements and nearly 1,300 square kilometers in the Kursk region. After three weeks of fighting, Russia is still struggling to dislodge Ukrainian forces from the Kursk region, a surprisingly slow and low-key response to the first occupation of its territory since World War II. It all comes down to Russian manpower and Russian priorities. With the bulk of its military pressing offensives inside Ukraine, the Kremlin appears to lack enough reserves for now to drive out Kyiv's forces. Putin doesn't seem to view the attack, or at least give the impression that he views it, as a grave enough threat to warrant pulling troops from eastern Ukraine's Donbas region, his priority target. Putin's focus is on the collapse of the Ukrainian state, which he believes will automatically render any territorial control irrelevant, wrote Tatiana Stanovaya, senior fellow at the Carnegie Russia Eurasia Center. Вот наш, вот попило, это наше ПВО отработало. Вот эта часть разбила. Соответственно, частично она сработала в воздухе. Где-то кассеты раскрылись, где-то не раскрылись, но они вот в таком виде. 